Hello to the pessimistic, optimistic, and everyone in between. My name is Connor Philippi, and welcome back to the Minnesotan Sports Podcast. And it is now officially over for your Minnesota Timberwolves. They lost the game tonight, and it's a 4-1 loss in the Western Conference series, a final series, to the Mavericks. So it'll be Mavericks and Celtics for the championship. I think most NBA fans, including me, are now going to have to root for the Mavericks because we don't want another Boston team to get a finals championship or any kind of championship for that matter. Always root against Boston, always root against the New England area. Um, but great series to the Mavs, fought very hard, and Luka is just on another level right now. Him and Kyrie just are not missing shots. It's just, it's insane. But this is going to be definitely a different tone than the last video I made because the last video I was just ranting and frustrated and I think I was riding the the expectations. I think a lot of people were riding the expectations that the Nugget series kind of delivered on us. And I think as much as we didn't want to look at the seeds, we did look at the seeds and we said, okay, we beat the two seed. That was kind of the team that was in our way for the finals and we didn't really give the Mavericks the respect they deserved and so that's why I think people were so frustrated that we lost the way we did and lost in an embarrassing fashion in this series but let's not let the frustration of that and my frustration of that in that last video overshadow what I've come to realize now because the last video I made that seconds or even a few seconds before the game ended this video I'm making a couple hours after the game is over. I was working tonight. I didn't even watch the game very much, um, but it gave me a couple hours. And even in the last few days, I've been able to think over how, like, the series and the season. And it's kind of just, like, given me a little more clarity and closure on the season because I don't think very many Timberwolves fans would be telling the truth if they said that this season wasn't successful for the Wolves. I mean, we made it to the Western Conference Finals for the second time in the history of the team. We have made it past the first, we made it past the first round for the first time in something like 20 years. Basically, since the Kevin Garnett era, we have been a laughing stock of the NBA before these last few seasons. And our culture completely changed. We fought back after all the the crazy stuff that happened last year. You almost kind of forget about that. The fight between Gobert and, um, was it, it wasn't McDaniels, was it? I think it was McDaniels that punched the wall and hurt his wrist or hurt his hand. It was just a complete disaster last year. And we didn't think that Gobert was going to be able to work together with all the other players. And it just meshed in a, a crazy way this year. Obviously, there are some really bad games by Cat in this series. There are some bad games by Gobert and Ant honestly sold a couple of these games we probably could have won but all in all this was an incredibly special NBA uh, playoffs for for the Timberwolves and we got further than anyone expected when we went down 3-2 against the Nuggets no one thought we were going to make it and we we knocked off the defending champions of the NBA there were so many key moments and so many special moments in this season that I'm never going to forget as a Wolves fan. And I think a lot of people, the fact that we lost again in such an embarrassing fashion, people for a second there kind of felt like that overshadowed everything else we accomplished. But now looking back, I mean, when this season started, I was expecting us to be yet again a six or seven seed and maybe make the playoffs. Well, if we were, you know what I mean? And probably make the playoffs you know, make it maybe past the first round, pull off an upset, but never did I expect us to be a top three seed in our conference, in a good conference, and beat the defending champions, defeat Jokic. It was a very special season, and if we make even a couple tweaks this offseason, we could be even more special. I, th I think people forget that Ant is as young as he is. People forget that Gobert is even this season was only in his second season of playing with these guys, that 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 he's going to mesh even better with them next season. I mean, the expectations are going to be super high. Now, it would be truly perfect Minnesota sports fashion if the Wolves collapse again 
and it all falls apart after the the disappointment of losing this season where when we did but I feel like the mental fortitude of this team honestly will be much different than years past I think that we will make it back to this point I think we will be another a top seed again next year and we'll see if we keep all of our key guys a lot of people are saying we need to trade cat I wouldn't be opposed to that necessarily but I also am not you know going to be picketing outside and, and saying that that's what we need to do I think that if we kept this team exactly the same we'd probably make it at this exact same point and might even win the finals with this exact team but there definitely are some improvements we can make and I'll talk about that in the off season. but incredibly special season it was amazing and the way we lost in in this conference finals cannot overshadow everything that we witnessed because again the Wolves were the laughing stock of the NBA up until this season, and we completely changed that culture. And that alone is a successful season to me. And we made it past two rounds, made it as far as we did since the Kevin Garnett era, and we almost made it to the finals. But uh, an incredibly good Mavericks team, and people are, are seeming to forget, we uh, three of these five games, or three of the four games, uh, Three of the four games is what I'm trying to say that we lost in the series were by a few possessions at, at a very late stage in the game. Like we, we could have won this series really. And the Mavericks are an incredible team. So really when you do the math, it's not that tough of a loss. It just does suck the, the fact that we were so close to winning some of those games and we didn't, but it is what it is. A lot of teams face the same issue with making it as close a as we did this year and I'm just happy that I'm on that side now I'm not looking at this this playoffs from my couch saying well maybe the Wolves will win 12 games next year instead of 10 because that was definitely the case for a lot of a lot of uh years there but thanks for watching this video let me know in the comments what you feel about the end of this season but incredibly special season was so happy that I could watch it and uh, now we got the twins until until this next upcoming season for the Vikings, Wild, everything else. It's really just the twins coming up. Um, PWHL women won the championship, which is amazing. Um, so hopefully the culture of Minnesota sports will change around in these next couple of years. And the Timberwolves did a great job of, of doing their part to try and spur that. And the twins did last year too. So a lot of positive vibes, trying to stay positive as the Wolves lose this series. But thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the flip side.